no, respect is something that has to be earned. You understand me? And not everybody understands what respect is. And you can't hold people to levels of accountability standards that they don't hold themselves to. And so when it comes to respect, I, I want us to be able to reinstate codes and values into what respect is. You understand me? Understanding the proper handling of people and treating people how you want to be treated specifically. But when it comes to men and women, what are the values and the credentials for you to be respected in our community amongst each other? And like kind of knowing who you are. I was I saw somewhere um, where you were having a conversation and you were basically saying that when somebody asks who you are, mm -hmm. you don't really have an answer for them right. because you're like forever evolving. Mm -hmm. So what exactly does that mean? And how can somebody kind of take that and apply it to their daily life without being offensive? Right. You know, I, I, I heard Tupac say this before. He said, I got thug life tattered on my chest, but he said, that's like high school. Right. right, like even when you leave high school, you still keep your high school diploma. It ain't gone, but you graduate, mm -hmm. right? And I feel like every level of life, you should be thinking, what's my graduation point? Yeah. Right, like it's not that I'm, I'm, uh, you know, uh, 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 disrespecting where I came from, but I'm thinking ahead where I'm going. And right. Most people don't have a vision, so they don't have nowhere that they see themselves in the future. The foresight. Right. So for me, it's about evolution. Like people ask me, where you gonna be in ten years, twenty years? 30 years, right? You know, it's your plans and it's God plans. I just try to line mine up with God as much as possible, but I'm always thinking, what's my next vision? Because as soon as I'm doing something else, I'm not about to be relishing on the past. I, I can't relive the past besides nowhere in my memories, mm -hmm. right? So instead, what am I doing next? Like, I got to constantly feed my vision and my imagination with an idea, and I can't do nothing without a vision. Like, if we want to collaborate and do something, you got to give me time to see it. I got to see it fully, and then that's going to activate me to where I'm up and I'm ready to go at it. But until I get that vision, I can't make a move. So it's like, your vision could be long-term, what I'm doing for the next two years. Or it can be what I'm about to do for the next few months. So I live life in cycles. You understand me? You have up cycles, then you have cycles where you cool off, you find your average, then you go back up and you continue to peak. And it's like, you got to keep rising and keep rising. Right, so a person that have a vision ain't got no problem with moving forward. It's only when a person ain't got a vision, they don't know where they're going. Facts. Right. Big facts. Number one, other people's opinions. Through life, the longest battle anyone will fight is the one between their own truth and the other people's opinions. You will start to question yourself and your direction. You will doubt the attainability of your vision based on limited belief systems of other people. At times, you will let the toxic judgments and criticisms from people on the outside seep into your mental arena and poison your drinking. Like gravity, negativity is a constant force. It is always pushing up against you. Accept it, stay strong, stay true. Other people's opinions are just that, their opinions. I can't explain why. I shine and no one else shines. I think everybody shines in different things. And a lot of things I can't do. I can't play basketball like every other black person in America. But I can act. I, I know how to go to that true spot in myself because I'm there every day. I can be me. I can be whoever because I'm true to me. I can go to neutral easily. A lot of people, black, white, Mexican, young or old, fat or skinny, have a problem being true to themselves. They have a problem looking in the mirror and looking directly into their own souls. The reason I sell six million records, the reason I could go to jail and come out without a scratch, the reason I could walk around, the reason I am who I am today is because I can look directly into my face and find my soul. It's there. It's not sold. I didn't sell it. It's still within me. I still feel it. My heart is still connected to my body. So I, I could, any character I'm going to bring that intensity, that truth, that honesty to it because I have to repay for, for that blessing. You like, like see it all the time and believe it and, and whatever you gotta do to protect that belief, my version of protecting that belief was you I wasn't sharing this. Yeah, you I, you know, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't yeah. telling my mom. She knew I rapped, yeah, yeah. she knew I did music. And to her Don't it was let like, somebody knock you off, I'm man. not even gonna give my own mother the chance to try to bring me back down to reality.